Welcome, Warrior fans, to this week's edition of Warrior Wednesday, where we give you an inside look at one of the student athletes here at Corbin University. I'm Peter Martin, and today we're joined by Adam Shumka, a senior pitcher for the Corbin baseball team. Adam, thanks for joining us. Thank you. First of all, talk about why you chose to attend Corbin University. Well, I'm from White Rock, British Columbia, so not too far away. So that was the first big thing. I wanted to go somewhere not too far away from home, somewhere I could drive to, somewhere where my parents could come to some of my games. And so that was the first thing. I was looking kind of northwest. And then just other schools I talked to, I didn't really feel the Christian element where I felt that when I visited at Corbin. Um, I really liked the coaching staff. I thought the baseball team was heading in the right direction. And just, yeah, I liked the community aspect of Corbin. I really felt welcome when I came here, so I thought it was going to be a good fit. Even though I didn't know anyone, I felt like I'd fit in pretty quickly. Is there a TV show that you would never miss? Ooh. Um, I'm a big Hawaii Five-O guy. Also, this week in baseball when I'm at home in the summertime, that's something I like to watch. So those two, and then any sports highlights. I like to watch my Vancouver Canucks hockey games. So those three are probably, probably the big ones for me. If you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? Uh, I'd probably go with a shark. I've always been fascinated by sharks. Another show I would have watched was Shark Week, so going back to sharks, yeah. Would have nothing trying to kill me, so probably go with a shark, kind of own the ocean, do what I want. Sounds like a good life to me. Do you have any hidden talents that we should know about? Uh, Back in the dorm days, I was known to sing opera a little bit, so a few of the guys have had the, the pleasure of hearing that. Um, played piano as a kid, speak French a little bit, I've lost that, learned that in high school. Other than that, I'm pretty, pretty open book. If I have a talent, I like to show it. Don't have too many of those, so gotta use them when I can. Can you give us a sample of the opera right now? I don't want to wreck the camera, you gotta catch me on a different moment. On this year's baseball team, who's the team clown? We got a lot of funny guys this year. Everyone kind of brings a different element of funny. Some guys we laugh with, some guys we laugh at. Uh, pretty much anything Hayden Calvert says is funny, just with his accent. And he brings brings a light mood. Um, some of the freshmen are pretty funny this year. Uh, kind of no filter yet, just kind of say what they think. So. Uh, we get a good laugh out of Drex every once in a while during team meetings. Uh, Berger and Penrod are both pretty funny together. So we got, some, we got some good funny guys on the team this year. If there was a movie produced about your life, who would play as you? Ooh. Well, I would say like Samuel L. Jackson, because he's in every movie, but that doesn't really fit on the appearance end. Um, I don't know. Someone who's kind of crazy crazy like me. Maybe uh, Ryan Reynolds or someone like that. Someone Canadian. Got to get that Canadian roots in there. Returning our focus back to baseball, what role does your Christian faith play in your success as an athlete? I think it's a big part of success for me because a lot of times you see athletes who don't walk with God and there's it's such a high and a low. Whether you win, you're on that really big high. When you lose, you're on that low. For me, it kind of keeps me keeps me level all the time. If I lose, I know I know I can come back stronger. I know I can learn from it. If I win, I know I had God with me in that win. So it's kind of cool. I've never been able to play on a baseball team quite like at Corbin where everyone's on the same journey as me. Everyone's a believer. Um, we learn a lot together. We win as a team, we lose as a team. And I think that's a lot to do with us all showing that same faith. We kind of use that to push each other. Um, as Coach always says, we're playing for something bigger than ourselves, playing for someone someone on the front of our jersey, Corbin, as Corbin represents God. And so I think it's, I think it's really big. Um, I've learned a lot through sports. It's helped me with my walk. So I think Christianity and just my relationship with God, yeah, and everything I do in baseball, it, it really impacts that. So I think it, yeah, it makes me a better player. It makes me more humble makes me bounce back from a tough loss or stay even on a big win. Adam, thank you for your time today and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Go Warriors. Any opera now? Can you give us some opera? I don't know if you want that. Not yet. It's a little loud.
No, I don't want to ruin. It'll be great. It'll be great. Just, just real quick, real quick. Um, wait for him. Yeah, well, give, give us, give us a little sample. Just of the, all the coaches in the yeah, other offices. Yeah, they'll know. They'll know. It'll be great. Oh, gee. I have to clear my throat first. I don't want to. Something like that. One more time. Oh, this is gonna end up on a blooper reel and everyone's gonna laugh. Oh. Time to say goodbye! Something like that, I don't know.